welcome to our Florida haul part three. Um, I'm sorry if it may seem a little rushed or what have you, um, this one, but ideally I want to get everything that's left all in a one and um, I desperately need my dining room back. So, um, a quick addition, um, I did use the peach wash and scrub in the shower and I have used the, um, the moisturisers etc and it is gorgeous. Um, the scrub is really good, you come out really soft um, and it's really peachy as well the smell. So for those of you that have been following you will know on previous vlogs that we got the peach body lotion and shower gel etc from Bath and Body Works. So um, just to say yeah they, they do work really well. Right so we'll begin. Now these ones oh are presents so we'll um we'll get on with these ones first now these are a present for my nephew um he's only a couple of months old and um my sister asked me to pick some up for her so this is um they're swaddling um blankets and um, they were actually in the clearance and they were 13 98 so I thought they were quite nice because you get three blankets and they're all different patterns on them so there we go and this one there we go oh this is really soft I'm going I, I just I want one of these myself they're just really, really soft and they just, oh, you just want to cut them and they do, there we go, you can hang them if you want. <laughs> but um, this is for my friend's little girl because she is absolutely Moana everything. She will sit and sing with her dad when they're watching it and and everything. So... We thought we'd get her a little baby piggy. There we go. Um, this one, Jack Skeleton, we've actually bought for um, a little thing that we've come up with for Christmas. So keep your eyes peeled and subscribe because you if not you might miss but we've got some little tricks up our sleeve for for jack for christmas oh no right now these are magnets i've got two of them the same these magnets um are for one for my mum and one for Kip's mum and we it's a photo frame so we're going to get um, a nice photo put in those uh, to give to our parents and of course we couldn't go without getting ourselves a magnet here we go as everywhere we go we always pick a magnet up for ourselves so there we go so that's a Disney World magnet right next I'll do all the mugs so um, when we went to um, NASA Kian found some uh, some mugs that he's going to use for work etc so that's the Falcon Heavy one the SpaceX SpaceX on the back and it is 
a proper metal one and it keeps things chilled and it will also keep things hot so it's got a nice thick lid on it that seals really well and that was oh dear 33.99 so i hope it works and the other one he picked up from there was mainly this one i would say i think it's mainly for cold drinks was just a normal box standard nasa one and it's got a, a button on the back which opens the lid and it's really soft if i do it from the side you'll be able to see it better there we go so that's that now we were when we went we were on the dining plan so we actually as part of the dining plan get three refillable mug each and these you can refill free of charge as many times as you like in resorts not in the parks resorts only so Kian got one with a blue lid now I had one with a pink lid but I left mine there because I didn't have the uh, the room to bring it back and Kip got the Halloween one there you go and they came in really handy I think we got our we got our money's worth for these you can buy them if you're not on a dining plan or if you don't get them on your dining plan and I believe they're about $15 I'm not too sure but I think they're round about that sort of price <clears throat> um, now this one is a Halloween Horror Nights one and it's from Universal and this one I believe was about $15 again and you can fill the, the day that you purchase this you can fill it up as many times as you want for free and then the following days you can you pay a, a small amount I think it's about five dollars or something I'm not quite sure and you can continue filling it up for nothing after that so um so they do come in handy we got the one between three of us i mean there's i can't see the point in getting one each to be honest um because you can just fill them up as, as often as you want it, there is something like two minutes between one filling and the next um but what's two minutes? You know, I'm sure you can wait two minutes for for another refill. So that's that one. Um, oh, back to NASA. And we picked ourselves up another magnet. Okay. And that is a, a ship taking off. Um, and like I say, we always get magnets from wherever we go. Now, I have got another magnet here. And it's very nice. It's a porcelain one. Um, it's for my grandmother. And it's all wrapped up. So I don't really want to get this out. So I'm really sorry that I can't get that one out for you. But it's a nice porcelain one and it's very well wrapped up so it didn't get broken. So next time I travel up to see my grandmother, I'll be, I'll be popping that in for her as well. Right, some things we got uh, from Universal. So we went to Universal and we, we went to the Harry Potter part of it in studios and and in islands of adventure and Kian picked up a chocolate frog 
Okay, now you can't go into Honey Dukes and not pick up a chocolate frog. I mean, it's the law, you know? And it's got a chocolate frog inside with a card, the card of the wizards, just like on the films. Um, now, I'm not sure what Kean's doing with this because he was, he did mention that he, he actually wanted to keep it um, and pop it on display. So I don't know whether he's going to actually eat the frog out of it and obviously leave the card and the box so it can be put on display. Um, but you never know with Kean. He's a strange boy. <laughs> so that's the, that's the chocolate frog. Now, he also got one of these, which is Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. And they were from Flourish and Block. No, Flourish and Block? I can't remember what I said now. But yeah, they're from, they was also from the same sweet shop. Okay, and these were ten ninety five, and once again he he wants to to save this and put it on display. So, like I say, I don't know about the sweets, but obviously the box and what have you. He wants to le you know he wants to look after that and, and pop it on display. Now I didn't tell you the price of the um, the frog, did I? The frog was ten ninety five. There we go. Now, um, obviously we went into Ollivanders because you can't visit uh, Harry Potter land without obviously going in and seeing the Ollivander and the little show they put on there, and also having a look for a wand. So, Kian chose his wand sorry Kian was chosen by his wand and it was a death eaters wand this one um and if i take it out careful with it. There we go. As you can see, at the top it's a skull. Okay. And then the, the shaft, right to the end, okay, is carved like an old twig. So it is a little bit different. It's not one of these smooth ones. It is, uh, but this it does look really nice. This one, I thought it was, I thought it was different actually to just getting a normal one with a little bit of decoration on. And of course, Kian was chosen by his wand. Pop that back for him. picked up when he was in in Harry Potter um, some coins um, these are part of a collection the noble collection and they are in a, they are in a box um, and you get a galleon a sickle and a knut there we go and I know they weren't the ch cheapest of things, um, but I'm not quite sure how much they were. But once again, that's something Kean picked up that he wanted to keep. Right, now when we were there, um, we decided that we'd like to upgrade our tickets to annual passes 
and what we did was we waited till our last day and because we hadn't gone to um, Volcano Bay because uh, my husband had he got an ear infection um, so we only went to the two parks and it I think it cost in fact it didn't cost anything because she's the lady was really kind and she she gave us an offer where we could upgrade to an annual pass um, for nothing and because because our our tickets were because we were there for three weeks so it was a the the time length of the ticket was longer or something i'm not quite sure but um so we got a seasonal pass each which means it, it doesn't activate until we first use it which will be next year so we won't need to buy tickets for Universal next year and if we play our cards right when we go the following year it will still be in date because we'll be going a couple of weeks before what we're going next year so we could have actually had three full years worth of Universal tickets just by buying one, one year's worth of Universal tickets so that was very nice of the lady to sort that one out for us so we'll let you know how we get on and see if it works for us so that's the universal yearly annual pass um now we stayed in hard rock hotel and kian saw he, he plays the drums kian does and he saw all the different drumsticks in the shop and so he picked himself up a set of drumsticks and they've got a nice picture on them and i don't know whether he's going to use these or whether he's going to keep them so there we go um anything all oh, right yeah hard rock there we go he also picked himself up from hard rock a zippo lighter um it's not because he smokes or anything like that but he just wanted to to keep it and that was 29.50 okay uh oh sorry his drumsticks i believe yeah, there we go. We're 1995. Right, I think. Oh no, we've got some more. So this one was a present Ian bought his dad, and it's the decoy detonator. Okay. And that's the one where the horn goes off and everything in the film and I believe it does actually work uh, but obviously I'm not going to test it and that was 1895 um, right when we was there he can put on a t-shirt that he's got um, and it was it's, it was the night bus that was on it and it says what is it it's gonna be a bumpy ride and he went over to speak to the conductor on the uh, night bus and the little head and they loved his t-shirt absolutely loved his t-shirt and you will see this later on in some of in in the vlogs i should hope and uh, he had a really good interaction with the the head and so he couldn't leave without buying himself a shrunken head 
There we go. And I think that t-shirt is a definite straight back in the case when it's been washed, ready for next time. Right, and I think the last thing from Universal is this Howler letter. And we saw this and um, it, straight away it was Bethan. Mm, you know, we, we've got to send this to Bethan, my daughter. So I said that obviously once we've done it on the vlog for uh, the haul, then Kit has got to leave a recording on it and we can send it to my daughter. Um, this was 18.95. So it says, this recordable pop-up card is a representation of the three-dimensional movie Howler. The Howler contains a 15-second recordable chip and will speak to the recipient in your voice. The message repeats upon opening and closing of the Howler. Personalise your howler with initialised Max Seal stickers included, envelope included, and additional postage required. So, um, so now we've recorded this, Kip will be able to go on, put his howler on for Bethan, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll let you know. Right, so, let's see, we've got some more bits from, um, from, uh, I think this was from Target, I'm not sure it might be from, it might actually be from um, Walmart, but it's one of the two, um, and they're these cord bites. I don't know whether you can see them, but uh, you get two, and they were in a they were in a, a sale bin, so they, I, I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't very much at all. And you clip them onto your cables, your charging cables, and they slide right down to the end, and they protect your cable from being pulling out of the of the end, so that you don't get. Um, damage on the end of your cables so we thought that was okay so we picked a couple of those up um now i had to have this it's a 2018 um photograph book and on the front of it it says 2018 and um, you've got a place just here to put a photo and it actually holds 200 photographs at four by six inch photos they are and then and then there's a little a little slot in the front here so you can put your discs in so i just had to get one of these to um to save and put all the photos in that we've had on our first ever trip to Walt Disney World. Right. Um, oh, Kip managed to bring some Cheetos home. I'm, si I'm surprised he didn't bring more home because he loves these, but he brought himself a pack of Cheetos. Um, I actually brought myself some honey mustard home. I love this. It was absolutely gorgeous. I love it on my salads. So I thought, when I saw this, I thought I have definitely got to bring this home. So that's that. And here we've got balls flying. And he is an aerial topper. 
and now that we've uh, popped it on our hall, Kian will be able to pop it on his car. <laughs> um, Kit wanted one, but Kian got in there first, so there we go. Now, Kian picked up some extra magic bands. Now, this is a, a limited edition one, and it's a Pandora one. And it's got a picture going round the band. I believe he didn't actually use this one. Um, I don't know why. I mean, he did you he, he did have another one as well. Um, and he wore that one most of the time, so. Now, it was his Nightmare Before Christmas one. And that's got Oogie Boogie on it. And I'm not sure what else. You can probably see it better than me. And that's the one he seemed to use all the time. So there we go. And Kip bought himself one. And it was a Stormtrooper one. And he looked everywhere for this because he's an original Stormtrooper, not the new version Stormtrooper. And Kip doesn't like the new versions, he says they're wrong. And he's a definite original Stormtrooper man. So there you go. Um, I think this Kian got on the first day we were there. And it was, uh, it's, um, you know, the press pennies. There we go. And um, it's, a, it's a wallet to keep them all in. And that was $12.99. And then, of course, throughout his stay, he got the press pennies and put it in them. So that's that. Um, now, these are called Metal Earth 3D Modelling Kits, and this is the, um, the robot moving thing that they use in Pandora. So, I can't remember what you call them, but, yeah. There we go, that's that. And he'll be making that as soon as. And he also got one, and it was a oh, motorbike. He's big on his motorbikes, Keen. He prefers a motorbike to a car. So, and there we go. So he picked a motorbike one up. Um, he also picked up this Donald Duck. whistle and you blow through the end of it and it makes you sound just like Donald Duck. I don't know why he picked that up, he just saw it and thought I, I love that. Right, we went on um, Mickey's Not So Scary and we actually did it twice. So, of course, oh, we got a bag full of candy. We have been dipping into it, so some of it has gone, but yeah, we did bring quite a bit back. I think they weighed it, and it weighed about three to four kilos, so I think it was quite a bit they brought back between them. Um, now, we picked these up as presents for the kids, and they're all different. Let's see what we've got. We've got a pumpkin. We've got, um, 
This one's a mummy. Nice to be got. Uh, and there's some candy corn. Okay. And I think that's it. Kian had some oogie boogie ones. Uh, but these ones are presents for the kids. There we go. Now, this is a bag full of goofy candy. And all the different stuff that you can get. Mm, yes, we had uh, snack credits left, so we did go and pick some sweets up for the kids. So there we go. So we've got a bag full of all different sweets. So that's those. Speaking of bags, that there we go. That is my bag that Kit bought me. My shopping bag. And I love it. I think it's really good. Okay. And Kip also treated me to this new bag. And this is a Haunted Mansion bag. It's got little pictures all over that. And it's got a zip in the top. And inside, yep, there's a zip pocket to keep all your safe, your keys and things safe. Now, on the last day, we went into um, Disney Springs. And um, I'd saved my money because I'd been I'd seen some bags that I fancied. Um, and Kip said, "Look, if you want them, go and get them." So, um, first off, oh, here we go. I picked up a lounge fly backpack, and it's got all. The princesses on but I just love the way that they draw I think they're lovely and it's got a zip pocket on the front and it's got a zip on the top and it's got a lovely silky lining in it and if you've got the bag well of course got to get the purse that goes with it so I got myself the purse as well and this is a zip purse and it's got two compartments for you with a zip one down the middle to keep you changing and there's plenty of card holders in it so this will be getting plenty of use on shopping trips and to go with my lounge fly bag that I've got at home, um, I picked up another purse. And this matches the lounge fly bag that I've got back here. And this one opens up to put all your cards in and... Uh, paper money or plastic money depending on what you've got and then it's got a zip which opens up for your coins there we go and that's got Mickey and Minnie on it <clears throat> now then let's see what we've got left ah uh, right when we went into um Dinosaur Land in Animal Kingdom. Kian saw he's, he's he's into space and 
and everything and he actually picked up a genuine meteorite or a piece of a genuine meteorite shall I say and that was 1795 there we go and uh, Kian really likes collecting cards and he collects cards from all different places where he goes so we've got quite a pile of cards so he's got Simpsons cards Harry Potter cards Harley Davidson cards um, some more Harry Potter cards Um, these are wizard playing cards and Nightmore, Nightmare Before Christmas and the last one is the Haunted Mansion cards so I'll be happy that I've done this now because you can take them upstairs <laughs> There we go. Um, oh, sorry, there's a couple I forgot. Hard Rock cards and Disney World cards. So there we go. And we did pick up some pins. We're not big pin collectors or anything like that it's just certain ones that take our fancy so Kip loves Star Wars so we picked up these ones now these um, they were in a special glass case and they were only for sale for um, annual pass holders and um, oh the 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 club um, oh I can't remember what you call them the, like the VIP club class card holders or what have you um, but Kian went and asked and managed to pick these up for his dad. So he's got an Imperial Stormtrooper, Thai Pilot, and Captain Phasma. Okay, and these the plates actually fold down on the front and they actually stand up which I thought was quite good um, it was just something a bit different and the ones that I picked up were Caribbean Beach Resort because obviously we stayed at the Caribbean Beach so you've got to pick that one up and 2018 so there we go and oh we've got a couple more bits here so this was um, a cauldron cake from Universal and on the bottom of the box it gives you instructions on how to cook a cauldron cake and you get to keep a cauldron that you can cook it in and I think that is fantastic I think it's really good 
So that's that. I mean, I had one and Kian had one. Mine I'm going to pass on to my mother. So I don't know what Kian's doing with this. He's probably keeping it because he keeps a lot of things. <laughs> so we be wanting to put that on display again. <clears throat> and Kit picked up a box of goldfish. Um, I think that's about the last of everything. Um, oh, right. We got some, Kip, Kian got some of these. Now they're, oh, I don't know how you work these. Ah, there we go. And they're um, light up ice cubes. And he's got three of them. And these were from flower and uh, flower and God, from food and wine. And he went inside the um, I think it was the light lab or something like that. And he purchased a a drink from there. And he had the ice cubes in them. So obviously you've got to bring your ice cubes back. So he brought his ice cubes back. And last but not least, Kian bought himself the Gaston's Tavern. Well, um, I was going to say mug or jug or I'm not quite sure. That was $27.99. The lid does come off. But it's taped on at the moment. So there we go. And that is everything. So if you enjoyed it, give us thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our vlogs in the future, subscribe and press that bell button. Until then, I will say goodbye and see you soon. Bye.